Hello, welcome Dr. Grossman. I'm here with uh, Dr. Rafael Grossman. He is a trauma surgeon at Eastern Maine Medical Center and he pioneers new technologies in medicine and was one of the first surgeons to use the iPod for uh, in trauma surgery. Welcome. Thank you, Angela. I'm glad to be here. Um, we're here today because you are one of the lucky people that were able to attend Future Med at, at Singularity University and uh, preview some of the advances of new technology and new possibilities in medicine. Um, so share with us a little bit about your experience. Well, I tell you, it was an amazing experience. It was a life-changing uh, eight days of uh, listening to incredible speakers talk about uh, the future that we can sometimes imagine but uh, the future that it's already here in, in many ways. Uh, I was lucky to, to be there with uh, almost uh, 89 other people in the healthcare fields, uh, some of them physicians, uh, most of them not physicians, and uh, we were exposed to uh, incredible talks by, by faculty and, and guest uh, speakers uh, that uh, went from, 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 from one end to the other of uh, what the healthcare and technology uh, uh, conversions can be. We, uh, we finished the week with... Uh, not just very tired and exhausted uh, mentally and physically because it's a very intense uh, course, but um, with another vision, I think, of what uh, uh, the future uh, will be. Um, the speakers at Singularity University uh, at the Future Med program, which is held in the uh, NASA Research Park in Silicon Valley, uh, were just uh, a quality that, that you normally don't see uh, in, in, in regular, in regular uh, conferences. Uh, they were all presenting their work uh, and their products. Uh, again, many of those products already uh, uh, not you know, in, the, in the planning phase, but uh, beyond the prototype phase. And the stuff that we saw was really, really amazing. I think the future, uh, what I can just conclude uh, after my, my, my eight days in here that, that I'm already still digesting is that uh, uh, the, the future is going to be amazing. The possibilities are endless. What, was, what were you most impressed with? Well, I, it's hard to, to, you know, give you a, a one thing that, that was uh, impressive. Everything was impressive. We, we, uh, you know, we had speakers talking about uh, a, 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 a genomic mapping. We had speakers talk about uh, a cameras that bend light and can take pictures sideways. Uh, uh, we uh, heard the incredible uh, 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 talks uh, from e-patients, you know, empowered patients talking about their ways to to connect uh, 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 within the healthcare to uh, improve their experience and to improve their outcomes. Uh, we uh, uh, heard a talk on robotics and, and uh, the current state of robotics and surgery, which is, is a field that I'm very interested in, and uh, the, uh, the, the new technologies out there that are going to make the current robotic, which seems amazing, uh, well, it, that's going to be almost archaic in the very near future if uh, if technology uh, it keeps going the way it is. Um, you know, again, eight days of uh, lecture after lecture and uh, interaction, not just the lectures, but uh, there were more uh, uh, interactive uh, uh, chats rather than lectures with these uh, incredible uh, inventors, uh, futurists that, uh, that uh, have a... a, a an imagination and a, a, a scope of, of what's next uh, 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 that, that is beyond, beyond my wildest dreams <laughs> before I got there. I understand one of those people uh, was the inventor of Google Glass, Dr. Babak Pavis, um, the nanotechnologist. So you got to meet him and you got to preview Google Glass? Absolutely. That, that was, uh, uh, again, I didn't want to you know, mention the glasses because that, that's one of the things that really caught my attention the most and even before I went to the conference I Google Glass is something that that I had my eyes are very very uh, very close to um, um, Babak Parvis from Google uh, uh, I guess the, the main person the, the inventor or the lead uh, uh, person in the team that invented uh, or that is developing Google Glasses was there uh, he was uh, wearing the glasses uh, throughout the uh, number of days there was another fellow there with the glasses on and uh, I tell you it's a tool of almost a tool of the future something that you 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 uh, like you said initially I'm I'm I'm, I'm part of the, the, the team at Eastern Medical Center uh, that uses a, an iPod touch 
and, and now a smartphone uh, to connect uh, in acute trauma uh, patients uh, uh, for consultation, uh, to, to connect ourselves with remote areas. So before we had to run to a, to a telemedicine station and log in and look at patients, uh, uh, you know, 150 miles away in a telecamera, in a screen. And uh, then we started doing it with an iPod touch, you know, in our hands. And uh, then we kind of migrated to smartphones, which, uh, smartphones which can connect to any of the telemedicine systems in our network. But now I'm seeing, you know, with the glasses, that is a real possibility that you won't even have to use your hands to, to connect. You can just uh, have a, 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 a system connected to, to, to the system uh, just by wearing this, uh, these glasses, which are not really glasses. It's a platform that goes uh, in your forehead almost and has a small screen in the upper corner of your right eye, which uh, it basically integrates you to, 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 the, to the net, to the, to the, to the uh, internet in a way, making your, your, your presence uh, virtually possible anywhere and giving you a, 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 a vision of, of anything that you could get in the internet. A voice recognition, face recognition, and, a, automatic video, photo, information gathering. It's just amazing. I, I thought that that tool for healthcare has uh, infinite possibilities. So how was that um, voice recognition, the voice recognition technology? Well, basically, you talk to the glasses. And, uh, and uh, uh, you know, Babak uh, was uh, explaining to us about the, the, the potential of the, of the device and he was uh, just giving commands to the glass and the glass was uh, just uh, a, a, a screening in the, uh, in the small uh, glass uh, uh, screen basically in front of his eye, the information. He was calling up for the, you know, the, the molecule of uh, methane or he was asking questions and, and you know, while he was talking to us and interacting and he didn't seem to be uh, detached from us as uh, he could, by moving barely his eye, he could just look up information as he was commanding it to appear there. Uh, he could command the glasses to film off, uh, to film us if he, if he wanted to, or to take a picture. Or uh, it's just a, a, something that, that 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 doesn't appear real. You you think that he's almost faking it, but he was there in front of his eyes, so he could show us uh, what he was seeing by by basically. A, a, almost uh, having a a, uh, a, a, a a teleconversation with us, but filming us, and we could see that. So it's pretty incredible. It's hard to explain the experiences. It's hard to explain. And and the technology you thought was pretty good in terms of recognizing his voice and the commands that he was making, and even though he had a little bit of an accent as well, and you thought that uh, there wasn't any problem with the technology and picking up the commands. Well, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm a, I'm original from Venezuela, so I I I am not a a, a a native speaker, and I always have problems with this uh, voice recognition systems. At least in the past, I did. Nowadays, it's much better. The technology has improved uh, a, 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 a very much. But uh, not that he had an accent, but he he he's someone who who also has at least a foreign name, and you you know, to me, you know, he sounded a little bit different, and, you know, he just talked to the glasses, and the glasses answered, so I didn't see any problems with the glasses uh, in not recognizing his, um, his commands, so it was, uh, it was uh, quite impressive. Terrific. So, what do you envision, um, you wrote a great blog post kind of talking a little bit about a physician workflow, so what do you envision the future physician's workflow to be like with something like Google Glasses? Well, yeah, yeah I, you know, as soon as I, I, I came from, from Future Med I, on the plane, I was uh, blogging a little bit about it. I'm new to blogging, but uh, I, wore, I have a, a WordPress blog, and I, I thought, wow, I, I have to put this in paper in a way, you know, in, in quote, unquote, and I started uh, typing a blog uh, about Google Glasses in healthcare. That's the title of the blog, and, uh, you know, I think that uh, a Initially, I thought uh, doing telemedicine with the glasses, being, to, uh, being able to remotely connect with patients uh, in areas where we are needed. You know, the expertise of uh, any uh, medical specialty, in my case, a trauma surgery or acute care surgery, uh, it's difficult to get. And in remote areas like Maine, 
uh, it's hard to get a physician to where you need it, a specialty physician. So in the past, we used the phone. And then, like I said, we we're using telecameras and then iPods and then smartphones. And I would still use the phone. But I'm envis- initially, I envisioned just having the glass and being able to, by command, connect to a remote area and have a, a video conversation, a synchronous a, a, a video conversation with a physician it wanted to, to get advice from us. But then I thought, well, why not just have these glasses on all day long? And you could, you know, when you go to see a patient and when you, a patient comes to clinic uh, uh, to see you, uh, you know, you, you have to almost turn away from the patient sometimes to, to input data and to gather data from computers. If you had a glass, you didn't have to do that. I think that the, the relationship, the, the rapport that we could get with the patients would be better in the sense that we would be facing the patient and as needed, if we were going to look for, a, a, you know, the patient wanted to know their, their hemoglobin results, we could just ask for hemoglobin results and we'd have them immediately, you know, in front of our eyes versus uh, a, a, an image that we want to review to tell the patient the result or versus a report that the patient is asking for versus even you know, connecting to a patient's a relative who's away and who wants to have a, an, a, an update on how the patient is doing and we could just call up that name in the waiting area or in the other side of the world and just, you know, visually, simultaneously connect the three parties. Uh, so, again, I could, thinking of me operating and, and uh, on, a, on a kid, and uh, it, it, normally I, I take a lot of pictures of my operations uh, as a, uh, as a way to, to, to educate the public a little bit and the patients and the relatives and what we found. And uh, obviously, uh, keeping the, 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 the immediate uh, privacy concerns, uh, I thought of myself uh, uh, maybe uh, taking pictures or even streaming live surgery on a kid to the parents in the waiting area so that they could uh, have a look at what the appendix looks like or what the, uh, you know, I think to me it, it, it would be such a, a, a great way to not just do better medicine, but get better a rapport and establish a better relationship with patients and relatives. And, and I think that, you know, the hospital nowadays are, are, are very concerned about the, um, the reviews that patients give to the hospitals. And, and I think this is a way to, 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 to blow it away, <laughs> the patients uh, be so impressed on, on things like this uh, uh, being done. And it is possible. We just need to have a little bit of imagination and use uh, ideas to, 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 to transform the way we use current technology. And I think the Google Glasses are, are one of those, uh, those incredible technologies that with having a lot of imagination, or not even a lot of imagination, but just a little bit of imagination, we could, we could ch- radically change the way we do some things to improve them. And it sounds like by forging a better patient relationship, the ideas would come from both sides. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, so how, what advice would you give to other physicians who want to pioneer more new technologies in helping to, you know, move some of this innovation forward in their systems? Well, I think that, uh, you know, once you have the imagination and one, one, once you, you, you want to maybe break the mold a little bit or, or think outside the box, it, it, it's always hard to... To, to start, I think, and and I would uh, advise for patients and for 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 uh, a, 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 someone not to uh, a, to let frustration stop you, but just keep working, you know, with the system. And uh, and uh, and I think that as as you become a a, a sort of a lead uh, a, a changer, I think more and more people will hear you. And initially, the change is hard to accept, but if the change is for good, the change will will eventually come. So I think that persistence and patience is my probably my best advice for, for physicians who are uh, thinking of, of, uh, of having a, a technology help and, and change the way we practice medicine these days. Well, thank you very much for your uh, peek into the future for all of us, giving us a vision of what you saw and sharing it uh, with us for HL7 standards. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. My pleasure, really. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.